So the strap is there just to make sure that if you do release your nasal cavity or you happen to knock your mask, it's not gonna go singing to the bottom, okay? It's not there to create the seal for you. So you don't wanna over tighten your strap. Tighten it just enough so it's secure and not going anywhere. If you tighten it too much, it actually works against you and it will pop that seal and allow water to come in, okay? Your strap should be about here on your head, okay? You don't want it to drop too far down. If you do, it's gonna create pressure on the top of your mask and allow water to come in from the bottom. If you're experiencing a lot of water coming into your mask, check the strap first. That might be your first problem. This is an anti-fogging agent. So just give a couple sprays on the inside of your mask. Give a good rub around. Come over here. Give a quick dunk in the white bucket and your lenses should stay clear for the extent of the snorkel. Everything about snorkeling is slowing it down. Slow your breathing down will prevent you from hyperventilating. Slowing your movements down, your kicking, your swimming will allow the fish to get used to you and you'll see more. If you're swimming through there like you're swimming a race, all the fish are gonna hide and you're gonna swim right past them. So slow everything down, including your breathing. The rule of thumb of breathing through a snorkel is a nice, slow, long inhale, and then a quick, forceful exhale. The reason for that being, if you get water in this snorkel, Okay. The quick and forceful exhale will clear the snorkel of the water, but if you have any last little bits of water in that snorkel, by slowly breathing in, you're not going to inhale that water into your lungs. Then you can get air in and give another quick <sighs> exhale to get rid of the rest of the water. Okay. Fins are important because they help you propel through the water, but you need to keep them at the surface of the water. When we get in, it's going to be deep, but once we get over to that coral, some of it almost touches the surface of the water, and if you start dropping your feet down and kicking, you're going to kick the coral. The coral is a living organism, and it's very sensitive. If you kick it, you're going to kill it. So please, please, I can't stress it enough, keep your fins at the surface of the water. Use a nice scissor kick to propel yourself. All right? It's just snorkeling. It's just breathing and hanging out in the water. I have pool noodles here for you for anyone who cares to have one of those. They're really nice. Then you don't even have to think about um, floating. All right, that's about it.